Hey, Gordon, I just got that Octane. Hey, Adam. Which one did you get? Uh, I don't know. I got that Octane. Right, and that's the problem. Because there's four different kinds of Optane you need to know about today. The first one that you're thinking about, probably this, Optane SSD. This is a 905P U.2 form factor. It's lickety split, especially in low Q depth loads. Works just like all the SSDs you know and love. You put stuff on there, it comes off on there really fast. That's Optane SSD. Your buddy though, that bought the cheap computer, they probably got Optane memory. It looks very much like this. It's an M.2, 16 gigs to 32 gigs of Optane media on an Optane memory module. What it does is you put it in your slow desktop or your slow computer with the horrible hard drive and it caches it. Makes things much, much faster over a hard drive because you're running it off of an SSD. It caches it, tears it, buffers it, whatever you want to call it, that's Optane memory not Optane SSD. Number three, looks like this. This is not one, I will show a picture. Optane DC persistent memory. Used in data centers for DC, you basically pack a ton of Optane, 128 gigs to 512 gigs per module in a server. Persistent, so it stores, you can use it as memory or as storage, goes into DDR4 memory bus which is way faster than a PCIe bus today. Doesn't really apply to consumers today. Probably gonna change one day when we get it to consumers, but Optane DC persistent memory. That's number three. Number four, the new one. Intel doesn't call it new, I call it new. Optane memory H10 SSD. It basically takes that Optane we talked about earlier, 16 or 32 gigs of it on half of the drive. The other half, you get QLC, high density, not exactly the fastest thing out there, NAND. What it does is that Optane part of it caches, buffers, tears the slower QLC memory. So it's really two drives in one. It's really Optane memory in a lot of ways, but you, you don't get a choice with your drive, so you're gonna call it an SSD. Optane memory H10 SSD today, only gonna come in laptops. Laptops like this, ultra thin laptop, where you can't fit a hard drive. This shows up as two drives, in the system, it's gonna come from the factory in a laptop already configured as one drive so it doesn't confuse you. So right now, Intel's not gonna sell it to consumers and it's only gonna go into laptops. Come back to find out how fast it is and now the next time your buddy goes, hey, I just got Optane in my laptop, you can tell them which one they actually got.